This is a small jackfruit, popular in South Asia, India, and uh, the tropical regions of the world. Let's try to clean it up and see how to open it and to eat it. First step is washing. The problem is it doesn't fit into the sink. The sink didn't work. Let's try a large bucket with water. It's an optional process, you don't have to clean the skin because you don't eat the skin, you can remove it. It's nice when it's already clean from the dust and you don't eat the dust when it accidentally comes later on into the fruit. This is what it looks like inside. This is the, the fruit, it's like the protective shell and the white, white juice is very sticky, it's very sticky, it's like glue, natural glue, you can glue paper with it or you can glue wallpaper with it, a bit like latex, so usually people use a plastic bag to fetch the, the fruit or the plastic gloves and fetch the fruit out and then they place them on the table or a plate. So we try to fetch some parts of the fruit. So this is one fruit from the jack fruit. This is the nut inside of the fruit. The issue in here is this white sap, white juice, it's very sticky like a glue and, and the, the fruit is stick to the center, to the core and this hairy substance around this is sticky and so when you remove the, the fruit the main idea is not to have so much of this white sticky stuff onto the fruit. Mm, the best idea is to use the plastic gloves. That's slice up the fruit or slice it in half and then fetch all these fruit parts, put them on a plate and try to have as little of, of this white juice as possible so the more smaller parts of this large fruit there are the more easy they become to manage and you can remove the, the fruit without much mess. Let's try that! This is what happens when you slice the jackfruit in half. So you see you cut into the fruit. It's the fruit, it's the stem with the sticky white sap. So what the people do in the restaurants and the shops, the professional ones, they remove the skin, like slowly remove it, remove it, and then they use gloves and they slowly fetch out the small fruits rip it apart from the stems, clean it a little bit in the water and place them on a table or a tray, plastic tray, wrap them in the plastic sheet and sell out to the customers. So this is one of the few fruits which you, when you have it, you better use plastic gloves for cleaning, for shelling, for removing the shell of the jackfruit so that you avoid this sticky white glue it's like super sticky it's even sticky if it touches the fruit and in the mouth it sticks uh, for some reason the, the juice of the jackfruit and this sticky substance they don't mix so it's kind of a glue and anti-glue in one if you probably wet the gloves and the hands or oil them with vegetable oil then it's going to be less sticky but on the plastic and the hands it's definitely very sticky 
like the plastic spoon is sticks to the like natural glue. Also would be a good idea to research this natural glue and then try to, to make the synthetic version of this because it works well for paper at least it works very well. I'm not sure if it ever dries out but it sure sticks well on the plastic and it's kind of sticky but still removable so if there would be a plastic sticker with a little bit of this glue it would be a perfect plastic sticker for moving and removing probably organic too like organic glue okay let's try to fetch some more fruits and you remove the jackfruit from the, from the main fruit looks like this is a messy operation just trying to move one is already difficult enough pull it out it's a very labor intensive fruit it's tasty some people don't like it some people love it it's a messy business all the time you just try to pull it out push it out of this hairy sticky core of the fruit the fruit itself is not sticky, it's, it's this hair and the core is very sticky. Well, I guess you basically get the idea. It's a very labor intensive fruit and that's why you don't see it for being sold for cheap in the supermarkets. Usually even the people that have it in the garden, if they have so many of them, they just give it away because it's a very labor intensive operation. Well, it's also a good business for the fruiterias and the fruit shops that prepare this and then place it nicely on the plate some of them the shell the remove the the, the seed if it's a premium processing most of them just keep the seed and then place them nicely in a plastic tray or, or paper tray it's a fun interesting fruit if you like it, make a comment if you have better ideas how to improve the cleaning and eating of the jackfruit. Have fun, be nice. A little bit later in the process, you see what is when you remove the core, the central core, if you carefully remove it, you remove like a slice of the shell and slowly split it, slowly cut it through and then remove the core, this core which the fruits are attached to and then you open it up with the plastic glass, rubber glass or plastic bags on the hands and then you, it becomes as easy as picking the fruit. Just with a basic, it's an interesting fruit with which you need a basic knife, ceramic knife in this case, and a plastic rubber glass or plastic bags on hands. It's, a, it's probably one of the few fruits where you need to do this. It's a fun anyway. It's like an adventure into the fruit land. And there's a lot of fruit for the whole family, just this one. It's one of the largest fruits in the world. And also one of the most difficult to clean properly. I'm just picking. Hope you like it. Give it a try. Thank mm -hmm. you.